This is the placement from our tutorial for a simple placement. We placed all tables on default date for Northern Hemisphere, December the 21st at 12 o'clock. When we zoom into the drawing we can see that the red shadow lines reach from the top edge of each table to the height of the lower bottom edge of the next row. The terrain surface has also been considered for shadow calculation. These shadows have been considered for placement, so tables don't shadow each other at that moment. Now we'll calculate an alternative shadow for 3 o'clock at the same day. At that moment we can expect longer shadows than at midday. We go to the Evaluation tab and select our field South. If we open the structure tree in front of field South, we can see that only the default calculation is listed here. Now we set the start date for another calculation to 3 o'clock. The end date can be set by the step width and the number of steps. We only want to run one calculation for 3 o'clock, so we set the number of steps to 0. Because we only want to see the results of the new calculation, we freeze the shadows of the old calculation by clicking the Sun symbol. You have to return to the drawing with your mouse for the drawing to be refreshed. Now we can run another calculation. We apply with OK. The result of the new calculation contains some shadow lines which reach into the next row. When a collision between a shadow and at least one module of a table was detected, the whole table has been marked with magenta colored hatching. When we zoom out again, you can see that this situation occurred for multiple solar tables. Another function is to use the context menu of this list to run another calculation, delete a selected calculation, or to zoom in a selected field. You can use these functions to optimize your placement.